had nobody but him and Miranda. Petrosievich sprays it over to the far side. Slogger Ramirez really should have done better. Somewhat unsturdy back line so far. And this ball played in low. Comes out to Filipovich, or Illich rather. And what a goal that would have been. He did well to strike it, good technique, but right into the arms of Carducci. Keons floats it in, but it's headed away. And Slogger looking to run. Gets past the first man. Able to get the cross off, but it's a weak one in the end. Good 80-yard run, and Slogger. Samson does well to bring it down. Quick one to Asando. But Filipovich was there, and now Samson could be in real trouble. He's already on a yellow, and he stamped on Filipovich. And Samson is off in the 34th minute. And that is going to be a huge game changer here, Mark. Similar situation, 50-50 ball coming with the studs up. It's been a good shift so far for Sandu. He's appeared in every match, his second start. Slogger, this time has a chance to cut inside. Dean does a great job, but Slogger still with it, plays it across. It's the opening goal for the Blues, and it's the captain, Crittenden, who finishes it off. And that was all contributed to Slogger getting behind that Caps defense and never giving up. Dean slowed it down on his first cross. Ball stayed in bounds. Slogger sent it right across the middle. The Wiley veteran Crittenden at the back post as we see Slogger go with speed. But Dean did a great job to defend that. Couldn't keep it out of bounds right in the center. When you have that extra man advantage, Nothing but the back of the net for Crittenden. Petrosievich, though, did a great job to control the pace of the tempo of the game for the Blues. Can Barone do the same? Ball slid through once again. Can Slogger get one for himself? Tremendous save by Carducci. And McKendry has every right to be irate. He got all ball on that one. But all Maurice Scal saw was that he got a lot of Chris Cortez as well. And now Crittenden with perhaps a chance for his second goal. This one could come from the set piece. What a through ball to Slogger, getting behind the defense. But look at Carducci, stay low, block the five hole. Slogger tried to get nifty, put it between the wickets of Carducci, but he did a great job of stopping that angle. Gotta love the selfishness right there by Slogger. That's what they want from him. Go and attack that goal. As Cortez on that rebound was able to earn a free kick. And as you said, a lot of ball, but a lot of man as well. Cortez and Crittenden are the main protagonists in this plot. Four players in the wall for WFC2. It would be Cortez on his left or Crittenden with his right. And it's going to be Crittenden. <laughs> what a goal that would have been. And everyone is forward for the Caps. Carducci now at midfield. So anything that gets punched out, he's sending it back in. They're going to try and steal a point here on the road, Mark. As they've been playing with a man down for nearly 65 minutes. It's an outswinger from the far side. Downward header. And doing just enough was Miranda. Griffiths pushed off it, but able to make the clearance was McCracken. The Caps coming in wave after wave of attack. And now the Blues can break. A chance to ice this game, perhaps. Cortez running on tired legs. Holds it up, sees Walker. And somehow it finds him. Out of sight, out of mind. The Blues have wrapped up all three points, courtesy of substitute Amani Walker. Cortez takes that ball all the way to the 18-yard box. Walker did a great job holding his run as he was streaking up the left side to meet up with Cortez. Ball finds his feet through the defense somehow as Cortez just takes this as far as he could go. Amani Walker, great job holding his run. Whitecaps feet just too tired. Walker puts that in the roof past Carducci. 
Well, they had that opportunity to slow it down. Just couldn't do it. The Orange County Blues get their first win of the 2015 season, and it comes at the expense of WFC2. 2 to nothing.